Are some of these unintentional? Yeah, probably. Do I care? No. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 18, or welcome back to me digging for more things that aren't there. Taylor Swift's newest album, Evermore, stood out to me in the same ways as Folklore did in that there were lots of poetic devices being used. Folklore uses a bit of alliteration, but Evermore kicks it into overdrive. As I was looking through all of these instances of alliteration on Evermore, I realized that there were also instances of consonance and assonance, which I think is the same as internal rhyme. I'm going to try to not use the end rhymes that are happening just for the sake of making lines rhyme. Are some of these unintentional? Yeah, probably. Do I care? No. I'm now going to provide a brief explanation of the differences between alliteration, consonance, and assonance. I will have timestamps down below if you'd like to skip this part. I will also have a link to more info on this down in the description. So alliteration is the repetition of sounds at the beginning of words, such as Roy ran in the raging rain. Alliteration falls under the umbrella of consonance. It's a form of consonance, essentially. But consonance is the repetition of sounds anywhere in the word such as Mark called a locksmith. And lastly, assonance is like a vowel rhyme, such as water falls across the autumn rocks, which I think is the same as an internal rhyme. So in conclusion, am I crazy or is Taylor actually this poetic? Like, did she actually choose these words as carefully as it sounds she did? So I'm just gonna go song by song and list every instance of this happening. So in Willow, I'm like the water when your ship rolled in. Life was a willow and it bent right to your wind. There are a lot of W sounds that mostly start lines in Willow in general. Willow, the word itself, starts and ends with a W. There's also water, work of art, wherever you stray, wreck my plans, wait for the signal, wine, cheat to win, and all the remixes are named after different kinds of witches. Next is Champagne Problems. Silent sleepers, which is worse? Dropped your hand while dancing. Sister splashed out. And then in the chorus, there's pocket picture dropped champagne problems. You had a speech, your speechless love slipped beyond your reaches. Flush and your flannel cure, patch up your tapestry. There's a lot of peas in that song. Okay, next is Gold Rush. Eyes like sinking ships on water so inviting. That's also S's as well. I was stressing the I sound, but there's also the S sound. Face in a red flush. Everybody wants you. Everybody wonders what it would be like to love you. Walk past. Falling feels like flying. Coastal town we wandered round. Fades into the gray of my day old tea. My mind turns your life. Dare to dream. I like this one because it uses all three in the one song. Next is Tis the Damn Season. Road Not Taken looks real good. School that used to be ours. Holidays linger like. Time flies, truck tires, your smile. There's also a lot of teas in that one. Messy as the mud. Next is Tolerate It. Wake and watch you. Do or don't do. Polish plates. Gleam and glisten. Building other worlds. Which is followed by blankets over my barbed wire. Next, we have No Body, No Crime. Merlot on his mouth, jewelry on her joint account, mistress moved in. And then in the bridge, we see all of the ends of the last lines using the E sound, but then there's also words that do not fall at the end of those lines that also use the E sound, like daddy made me, I've cleaned, good thing STs. Next is happiness. Met the new me yet. Blood and bruise. Curses and cries. When did your winning smile? All our lessons start to look like. Facts through all of my fury. Happiness in our history. Great divide, followed by glorious sunrise. Seven years in heaven. That one's like a little bit of assonance or internal rhyme, where it doesn't really need to be because those two words don't need to rhyme. And then this one's probably my favorite one of that whole song. And I pulled your body into mine every goddamn night. Now I get fake nice because it's the vowel, the assonance, and the internal rhyme, but also all of the ends. Next is Dorothea. Dorothea, do you ever stop? Followed by down in the park, back to my side, followed by the stars in your eyes, makeup and magazines. This one is my favorite, probably of the whole album. Skipping the prom just to piss off your mom and her pageant schemes. Damn Dorothea, still the same soul. 
Next is Coney Island. Did I close my fist around something delicate? Did I shatter? Fast times, bright lights. And then in the chorus, there's a lot of assonance with the words over, no, close, and colder, pushed you to the edge, followed by you were too polite. Next is Ivy, meet you where the spirit meets, faith forgotten, old widow goes to the stone, pain fits in the palm, it's been promised, followed by stop you pudding, fatal flaw, clover blooms in the fields, crescent moon coast is clear, begged and borrowed time, watch what will become, followed by and drink my husband's wine, Next is Cowboy Like Me. Tennis court was covered up with some tent-like thing. Dancing is a dangerous game. Like it could be love. Ladies lunching. Boots beneath my bed. Next is Long Story Short. War of words. If the shoe fits, walk in its till. Right down the rabbit hole. Pushed from the precipice. Clung to the nearest lips, followed by Long Story Short. Past me, followed by petty things. Next is Marjorie, never be so kind, you forget to be clever, and then that's reversed. What died didn't stay dead. Never be so polite, you forget your power. That's also reversed. Long limbs, the car ride back and up the stairs. Next is closure, seeing the shape of your name still spells out pain. Some situation, there's a lot of other S's throughout this whole verse. Next is Evermore, footsteps on each stepping stone, one where I went wrong, followed by writing letters, which is the same letter, but it doesn't have the same sound with writing, but whatever, it still counts. Sending signals, wildest winter, can't not think of all the cost, weather, weather, dog days, cabin creaking. And that leaves us with 88 instances of alliteration, consonance, and assonance on Evermore. And 88 reasons why this is now my number one favorite Taylor Swift album. And I'm sure with the bonus tracks it's going to climb to 100. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I do music and Taylor Swift related content as well as a few vlogs and sometimes I like to dress up as sexy Gru, you know, just like the usual and let me know down below in a comment what you thought of this video. Did I miss any of these poetic devices? Or are there some other poetic things you like about Evermore? I will see you guys tomorrow as Vlogmas continues. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye guys. I know.